Hey guys, welcome to vlog number 57. As you guys know, yesterday was CEO for one month challenge finals of Taiwan. And now we can announce the winner. So the winner is, drum roll please, Yulon. So, Yulon, if you are watching this, congratulations. And we look forward to seeing you in the international boot camp. And we look forward to seeing you be the first global CEO of Taiwan. So good luck to you. If you have any help, come, you know, come contact me. I'll, I'll help you. Anyways, today we're going to tell you guys some of the executive officers or chief officers of the jobs, the different companies, so that it may give you an idea of what you might, what kind of people you might be working with or working for in the future, or it can also help you with your interview. So of course, this is the CEO for One Month Challenge. Now, Enola, what does CEO stand for? Chief Executive Officer. Yeah, so the CEO stands for Chief Executive Officer. He or she is uh, in control of all of the things that is in uh, operation in the company. All of the other executive officers and other lower managers have to report back to him or her. And he and her, he or her, he or she has to do all of the most important decisions for the company. So it's a really high risk, a really time consuming job. So if you want to be a CEO, you need to have a really, really good life work balance plan. So moving on, Shirley, what is the definition of the COO? Chief Operating Officer. Yeah, so the Chief Operation Officer is in charge of the operations that the company does. And that is basically what he or she does and he's responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of various different divisions and various different employees now moving on to the next one the chief, uh, CMO the CMO stands for chief marketing officer he or she is in charge of marketing the services or products of this co of this company to the people to their target audience so that they can know what services or what products that this company provides now, last but not least, one of the most important ones is CIO, which stands for Chief Information Officer, which is, of course, in control of all of the information of this company. And then, Enola, what is the last one, the CFO? The CFO is Chief Financial Officer. Yeah, the Chief Financial Officer is in charge of the finance, of course, obviously, or the money of this company, so the assets, the money, he or she is the one to de decide with the CEO how to um, separate these budgets to do what kind of innovations or what kind of um, things that they want to do with this money. So these are the more uh, commonly seen in chief officers in all of the companies. Of course, they are way, way more like the CRO, chief risk officer, the CIO, chief innovation officer, CCO, chief creative officer, and more. And there are also some chief officers that are limited to certain areas, like if you have like an, a hospital or something, a company connected to medical, it might be CMO, which is the chief medical officer, CNO, which is the chief nurse, officers so there are a lot of different chief officers for a lot of different areas so I that's it for this video I hope I helped you guys if you want to know some C chief officers of certain jobs or certain areas comment down below we will be making a future video on that if you are interested again congratulations to you on for getting CEO for one month Taiwan and as always we will be seeing you guys very very, very, very soon, soon.